guys welcome today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beautiful salmon with some nice vegetables and some nice coconut rice um, and I'm gonna put this all together to give you you guys a nice meal I'm gonna just show you some of the ingredients we are looking at today the salmon here I already um, maybe about three pieces of salmon I freshly bought from the store I cut in small cubes um, I'm gonna season it after but I'm just showing you what I have here also I have about two pepper I cut this size, it's pretty good. We have some nice um, Thai sweet um, pineapple, some red onions, some white onions, just a little bit of pomegranate. We have some uh, beans here. So also I have uh, about three um, cups of white rice. I washed earlier and I soaked it. The um, reason I soaked it, so when I cook, it's gonna take a little quicker to cook because we're not adding um, too much water to it. So basically I just soak it so when we cook it, it's gonna finish really quick. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start off by cooking the rice and after that I'll come back and start seasoning the salmon. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil in the pan. It, this is actually a rice cooker. I'm just gonna put some white onions, just a little bit, not that much, in here. And I'm gonna add some garlic. Just gonna add, sorry, I'm gonna add some garlic. And let, let this cook for a minute. And then I'll start adding the rest of the in ingredients. Okay, once you start to cook so basically like this, it's sort of fried up a little bit. I'm gonna start adding the rice. So I'm just gonna add the rice in here now. Just like that. And then I'm gonna just add some more ingredients to the rice. So a little bit of fresh some thyme to the rice also I'm gonna add a handful of fresh ground um, coconut or if you have the frozen one it's fine either either way this is basically the flavor of this rice so you put some nice coconut in here And then I will I'll let this rice fry it up maybe another minute or so. Then I will add the, the rest of the liquid um, coconut milk to it. So um, I'll let the rice cook. So the rice, um, if you can see, once there's no liquid, like when you drain the rice, and you, there's nothing inside and just start to fry up a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt to this, just for the taste. I'm gonna add maybe one, one cup. This is one cup measurement. Two. So we have two cup. Of coconut milk so this is the liquid we're using to cook this rice I'm just gonna turn it up see what it look how it looked like and show you so this is is gonna be a nice um, flavorful um, rice because of the coconut milk so that and I'm just adding a little bit of um, saffron powder Normally I use the real saffron, but I don't have any. So just a little bit you put like that and turn it up. So when your rice finish cooked, you have a nice um, yellow saffron color. So like that. You can also taste it, taste the liquid to see. If you need a little bit more salt. I'm gonna add just a bit more because remember 
We're not doing anything else to this rice. So this is it. Once it's finished, it's finished. It's ready to eat. So that, I'm going to cover it up. And let it cook. For about 10 minutes or so. 10-15 minutes. So I'm going to season this, um, this salmon with a little bit of um, all purpose seasoning. Just... Just a little bit to coat it. I'm gonna put some garlic. And a little bit of this thyme, like that. And then I'm gonna give it a nice mix so that it coat a little bit, like that. And then I'll put it in the pan and then I'll show you what next. A little bit of olive oil in the pan, a little hot. Now I'm gonna add some onions to that. A little bit of fresh garlic. Once it's fry up, uh, fry up a little bit. I'm gonna add the salmon to it. So we got the onion just a little bit started to caramelize. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this salmon sweet like that and then I'll let it cook at this time you need to put the heat down a little bit so you give this salmon some time to cook Occasionally you're going to turn it up a little bit, but try not to break the salmon pieces. You want most of it to stay the same way. Um, you want it to cook, but yet you don't want to break it up, okay? So do it like that and let it cook slowly. So I'm just going to give the salmon a little bit of a turn to make sure that all sides are cooked. And then after maybe five minutes or so, we'll take the salmon off. Same pan we used to um, to do the salmon. Um, I'm using the same pan. You don't need to clean it or anything. Just add your onions inside, and I'll add the pineapple and let it start to fry up with that flavor in the pan. And I'll add the rest of the vegetables now. Now we're gonna add the sweet pepper, all of it. And just half of this pomegranate inside. So I'll let this fry it up for maybe about two minutes or so, the pan, and then I will add the salmon after. Just gonna add some uh, sauce for that um, salmon. So I'm using the sweet chili sauce. Just a bit. Should I use it all up? A little bit of barbecue sauce. I have some honey garlic sauce. With that. And some of the honey garlic as well. Maybe you shake it up, give it a shake. Just a little bit of this one. Some time to it. I'm just adding a little bit of salt to this vegetable. And then it up, stir it up a little bit, make it look nice. And now I'm gonna add back the salmon I have prepared earlier. Just be careful when you when you're turning this up now. I'm gonna give it a stir. Just gently, okay. 
I can follow my pen. Okay. Now I'm gonna add sauce I prepared earlier. You mix it all up. Just make sure you taste it. Make sure it's nice and good. Um, if it's good when you taste it, then it will taste good in December. And just add it all over this. Like that. And I'll give it a turn. Look at the color. Beautiful. In the vegetable, you don't need to overcook. Just a little bit so that you have you have that crunchiness when you when you're eating. You need you need that. Now, once this is almost ready, I'm just gonna add this pomegranate. The rest half of the pomegranate just on top, like that, and that's it. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna plate to the rice, and actually I'm gonna make a, a little bit of garnish to put on top of the rice as well and I'll show you that in a minute so basically your salmon is done I'll just turn off the stove I have a little bit of water boiling I add a bit of salt I'm just gonna add some uh, of this beans for one minute I'll let it cook for one minute then I'll drain it and after all, I'll show you how I'll finish it up finish it off this pan I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter. It's not coming out. Okay. Now keep going. I try to. Like that much. That's enough butter. And I'm gonna add. Just let it melt. And I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Not too much. Just a little bit. Just for the flavor of the butter that so while my beans is boiling for a minute I will drain it and then I'll put it in there with some nice a uh, little bit of salt to season it so I drain the beans I'm just gonna add it to this butter sauce Turn it up for another minute. You need the crunchiness of these beans too. Just like that. And then uh, for a half a minute, then I'll finish this off. I'll just take it out. So guys, look at the rice. It's not sticky. At least it's fully cooked. I had, like I said, I add a little bit of water. It depends on the rice you're using and the type of uh, cooker. So maybe you might add maybe a half, half a cup to a quarter, a little bit of water to, to the rice. Because remember, this is three cup rice. I added three cup water, then I add, then I add a quarter cup of water more, which is in liquid, which will be good, coconut milk. So this is what the end product look like. See, it's nice and it's not sticky or anything. Beautifully done. This rice. Okay, guys, here you have it. Coconut rice with some saffron coloring. I'm gonna taste the rice and look at the salmon itself. Fully cooked. Nice crunchiness from this sweet pepper. I'm gonna taste this first. Salmon is really cooked. That's good. And now the rice. Rice is also good. And then this beans, you need the crunchiness of it. So when you're eating it, you have to have the crunch of it. So that's good as well. So guys, I hope you like this video. It's gonna be on YouTube. So please share it. Um, like the video. Um, share it. And let me know what you think. Thank you guys, until the, another video.